Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy, coming right back to share some more words of encouragement with you all. Listen, happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or morning or night or evening, whatever time it is where you are. I hope you are well. Okay, so I have just some words of encouragement for you guys. Wait, listen, thank you guys so much that subscribe to this channel. We are a team over here. We are family. Thank you to those ride or dies who've been here for a while when I had only three or six or 30 or 40, whichever space you fit in at. Thank you so much to the new and old subscribers alike. I love y'all. And yes, I pray for you all the time. I just want to share some words of encouragement. You know, I love to encourage the people of God to keep going, to keep moving, remind you of God's love and his peace, remind you that you are always on his mind, okay? So listen, you are God's masterpiece. And I know that I have shared this before. I felt it in my spirit this morning, just to tell someone you are God's masterpiece, okay? You have not done so much wrong that God doesn't love you. You have not done something so bad that he has left you, okay? That is not it. As a matter of fact, the Lord never leaves us. We walk away from him, but he never leaves us, okay? So no matter what is going on in your life, all right? No matter whether it's your fault that you're going through it or not, or it's caused by some other circumstances. Listen, beloved, God is always with you. He always loves you and you are his masterpiece. Like I said, you're not too bad. Okay, you have not done so much wrong that God is not there for you. I wanted to remind you of that today. All right, God loves you so much. He loves you so much. All right, you are in the hands of an almighty God, the creator of the universe. Okay, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the same God that we serve today. You're in good hands. Okay, and he loves you so much. Don't ever forget that. I want to read real briefly Romans 8, starting at verse 31. Please bear with me and listen. Listen to the entire scripture. It's more than I usually read probably, but I felt led to do this today. Somebody needs encouragement. Somebody needs to be reminded that Jesus loves you no matter what. Okay, so let's read Romans 8, starting at verse 31, and I think it's to 39. Let's see. It reads, what shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, hallelujah, who can be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself has given us right standing with himself okay who then will condemn us no one for christ jesus died for us was raised to life for us and he is sitting in the place of honor at god's right hand pleading for us can anything ever separate us from christ's love i don't think so it does not mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry, or destitute, or in danger, or threatened with death. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As the scripture says, for your sake, we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, it says, no, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ Jesus who loves us. And I am convinced, hallelujah, that nothing can ever separate us, hallelujah, from God's love. Neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky or in the earth below Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Did you hear that? I pray that you were listening. 
to every word of that scripture. There is nothing that will separate you from the love of God. Absolutely nothing. I want you to know that today, that you are loved. You are loved by our Heavenly Father. You are loved by Jesus Christ, our Savior, okay? Our elder brother, hallelujah. He died on the cross for your sins and my sins, okay? For our sins, for the sins of the world. And he loves you today. So listen, in good times and in bad times and in happiness and sorrow, in mourning and in celebration, in mistakes and successes, Jesus loves you. Absolutely nothing, hallelujah, can separate you from the love of Christ Jesus. You all be blessed. I had to come and encourage you guys. I love y'all so much. I'm praying for you. I hope you're praying for me. I, I come to do the best I can for, for our Father, okay? And that is sharing the love of Christ and whatever he tells me to share with his people. Hallelujah. Listen, you all be blessed. I love you so much. But guess what? Jesus loves you so much more. So until next time, may the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family. And your family. You all be blessed. Listen. If you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him, sweetheart. It is the absolute best decision that you could ever make. And all heaven is rejoicing with you. If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, it is okay. Oh my God, I am so glad you are back. Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It's the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you. And listen, 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 listen. Jesus loves you so much more. And there is nothing in this entire world that you have done or anybody else has done can separate you from the love of Jesus Christ. Be blessed. Until next time. I love you.